The phone will be available on all major U.S. carriers sometime in the second quarter of this year. Well, for the past five years, volunteers have been chipping in and giving up part of their weekend to help clean up Lake Tuscaloosa. Those volunteers have made a big difference in the appearance and quality of our lake. Ashley Boudreaux is here from the City of Tuscaloosa's Environmental Services Department to tell me more about it. Ashley, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. It is my pleasure. So you guys have expanded this lake cleanup to not only be a cleanup day, but there's other things going on too, and it's kind of turned into its own little festival, hasn't it? Exactly, yeah. We, we invite the community to come out and join us for our annual Waterfest event. And in the past, we've liked to have this in the May month, in the month of May, but this year we're having it in April. And the reason is, is um, our Lake Tuscaloosa looks very, very clean, but a lot of times um, with the high water that we get in the springtime, mm -hmm we get more flow this time of year. So we decided to bump up the event and to expand it, like you said. So not only are we cleaning up the lake on Saturday, April 6th, we're gonna have an educational expo for the public Thursday, April 4th, and then a student expo on Friday, April 5th. All right, now I think people understand how the actual cleanup part goes. You right. go out there, you meet some people, you pick some things up, you throw them away. The expos are, or what are a little bit, uh, maybe a little confusing for the folks at home. What kind of things will you guys be talking about? Sure. Well, like I said, we invite the public to join us Thursday night at the Phelps Activity Center, <laughs> where we're going to have city officials, local experts, and um, folks from the Water Department, the Alabama Department of Environmental Management, and the University of Alabama Natural History Museum gathering together, and we're going to be discussing Lake Tuscaloosa. And a lot of people don't know, but that's where our water comes from. Whenever you turn on the faucet at home, that's where we're getting our drinking water from. So it's very important that we keep Lake Tuscaloosa clean and healthy, you know, really to benefit our community. Absolutely. And you're right. A lot of people assume that there's a big, vast aquifer somewhere that we're tapping right. into, but it's coming out of the Black Warrior. Exactly. Well, Black Warrior, but then also Lake Tuscaloosa. Mm -hmm. So it's really important not only to pick it up and to keep it clean on this one day and this one event every year, but we also like to educate folks, folks on why it's important not to litter. And it sounds so simple, but you know, that's what we tend to see a lot of on these lake cleanup days, like we'll have on April 6th. Um, we won't see the big bulky items. We're gonna see small styrofoam cups and plastic bottles, and that may not seem like a big deal, but it really, really is, especially once folks realize that's where our drinking water is coming from. Absolutely. So. You don't wanna have a washing machine out there rusting. Absolutely, no. And, and you don't want to have 100,000 cigarette butts floating around out there either. We see a lot of that, and, and we see the large appliances too. So mm -hmm. it's, um, it's always a positive event just to bring everybody in the community together. So if you have a boat and you're available on April 6th, we're asking the public to come out to the Binion Creek boat landing up Highway 43, and that's where, we'll, where we will be meeting at 8 a.m. to clean up our Lake Tuscaloosa. Now think back, what's the most unusual, revolting, odd, or surprising thing that has been located on a lake cleanup day? For me personally, the tires mm. are always just really sad to see. You see them up on the bank and they got there somewhere. So right. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think that someone in their boat would toss that off. <laughs> I wouldn't but either. we have so many creeks that run into the Lake right. Tuscaloosa, so I'm thinking that it, it ran down the creeks. Um, like you said, we see a lot of large appliances some years. So that's, that's always been a focus. That's an easy target to say, oh, we need to get that refrigerator out of the right. lake. But um, like I said, you know, cigarette butts, that's litter too. And so is that plastic bottle and that styrofoam cup and those tires. So, nice. yep. <laughs> Super. Ashley, thank you so much. Sure, Danny. North River Water Fest is April 4th and 5th at the Phelps Activity Center, and Clean Our Lake Day is Saturday, April 6th at the Binion Creek Boat Landing. It starts at 8 a.m. You can find out more by calling 205-349-0279 or online at northriverwatershed.org.